Welcome. The purpose of this tutorial is not to show you how to make the patcher presets used in this video, but to introduce you to one advanced use of patcher. Let's start by having a look at the one knob effects I just previewed and see what's going on under the hood. So, the FX1 knob introduces some cool glitching and slicing effects. The second knob causes a filtering and bit reduction effect. FX3 is a phasing effect. And FX4, stereo delay. So let's click the map tab and have a look what's going on back there. And here we have patches inside patcher, inside patcher, inside patcher, inside patcher. So the whole point of this video is introduce you to the idea that you can load patcher presets inside patcher. And this is a rabbit hole that can go as deep as you want. The FX1 knob was a stutter and glitch effect, and it should be no surprise to see that gross beats inside. As I twist the knob, various gross beat patches are selected. Along with that is a fruity formula controller that's scaling the input into gross beat. And finally, some love filters. The second effect was a bit crusher from Fruity Squeeze and some filtering from Love Filter. The third was a phasing effect built up from Love Filter plugins. And the final delay effect is mainly courtesy of Delay Bank. Rather than listen to me talk about it, you can surf on over to the Patcher Preset forums and grab the patch. One knob FX test, and the FL Studio project used in this tutorial as created by Nucleon. I'll put a direct link in the description. Until next time, enjoy using Patcher inside Patcher. <laughs>